I mean, for me, freedom, freedom is, is a core good. It is something that allows scientific advancement. It is something that allows people to make choices of their own and to take responsibility for their actions and to take pride in what they've done rather than, you know, doing what someone else tells them to do and just being a tool uh, or be treated as a tool. And that is a core good, but it's not the only thing that's good. It kind of in the same way as technology and markets can give you options, right? Optionality is not the only good. It can be the thing that you, you know, you strive to maximize in some sense, right? Like if I wanted to sum up my political project in like one sentence, it would look something like, I want intelligent agents to proliferate throughout the galaxy, being able to make more and weightier choices forever, forever until, until the end, end of time. time. All that is to say that like, that's a very lofty goal and, and it's so far divorced from what I can accomplish in my lifetime. I just, it's, a, it's almost science fiction. It's almost religion, you know, it has that flair. And ultimately, like I said, we have much more power over what we desire, like what we want to want. I think that that's a recent revelation for me is that people can still, like where, where human agency is in the 21st century is in choosing what you want to want and choosing what you want to be and becoming more aware of the pressures on you to do some particular thing and, and letting, letting, letting go, go, I suppose, suppose of things, things that, that you thought were you in order to achieve something, something that, that is, is more pure, pure that is more you. And this is kind of like going back to the talk about self. I think that like the human subject, like, okay, if you sit by yourself and think about your feelings, if you just experience feelings, you can step back from the feelings and get between, like get mentally between the stimulus of your mind and of your body and what you choose to do. Like you can be in that space and that very fact proves that you are not you just your mind. You're almost something inside of your mind. And the things that you think are you um, are often things that other people have sold you on that has sort of taken up residence. And you know, this all sounds super, I mean, I feel like I should put a trigger warning on this because it sounds very schizophrenic. Humans are the most complex thing in my world. And uh, I guess that's my message. That's, that's all there is, is that human choice never exits the equation. And if it does, then all is lost. Yeah.